Bye-bye. For Emil Haddad, seeing the dentist is like seeing an old friend. She is awesome doctor. <laughs> and uh, uh, she is so gentle, you can't even feel what she's doing. Dr. Marajan Habibian is the face behind Tooth Fairy Family Dental, housed in this beautiful historic Plainsboro home. Inside, it's just as homey and comfortable, just like the Tooth Fairy name. With her own kids, she probably had to take them to the dentist as well, so she didn't want them to have that feeling of uneasiness. So being somewhere that's cozy and warm and organic, it's, you forget about that, I'm in the dental office. You forget that I'm here to see the doctor. You're like, I'm here to see the tooth fairy. You, you, you laugh about it. Dr. Habibian, who's been practicing in the community for more than two decades, leads a team of professionals who provide the latest in technology and know-how. They combine it with a personalized approach that treats patients of all ages like family. I feel like I'm coming to help, like if a patient has pain, or like want to make them beautiful, more prettier. And uh, like I love my job, like dentistry I think is like important for like your oral health is important to your whole body. With their medical training, dentists are on the front line of patient care. They're often the first to detect serious health problems, including oral cancer. They found the relationship between like a bacteria in the mouth to the stroke, to heart disease, and diabetic. Also, like the dentists are the first one that they can diagnose if you have like tendency for a sleep apnea. Oh. The serious medical professional is also a strong believer in family and community. She recently threw this Persian New Year party to share her Persian heritage and to celebrate spring. She's also an artist. The office is filled with her artwork as well as that of Lou Biso. He was a beloved music teacher and her life partner, who tragically passed away from cancer five years ago. Upstairs is an art gallery that's devoted to his work. It's open to patients and the public. We're not here just to be a dental practice. We're here to help the community, reach out to the community. So having an art gallery for someone that was an important person in the community is one way that we reach out to the community and let them know, you know, that there's other things in life. There's music, there's art. To appreciate the finer things in life. It's a philosophy that permeates the way Dr. Habibian treats everyone in her practice, whether it's empowering patients to take charge of their oral health or promoting cultural understanding among the people she touches in her life and in her work. Every person, they are like paintings, like they have mixture of different colors, mixture of different emotions, like each one of them is like an artwork. Dr. Habibian loves what she does and that's what makes her patients love her. Yeah, she's very professional, she's very good and friendly and, and, um, and, and uh, so that's why I like coming. For more information about Tooth Fairy Family Dental, go to www.toothfairyfamily.com. You can sign up for their Facebook page at facebook.com, Tooth Fairy Family Dental.